Hey guys, here's another repair job I recently did. This is the main boom from a JCB telehandler. I'm going to be fitting a new boss as well as fixing the cracks on the boom. If you're not too sure where this boom comes from, I hope this picture can help. I started the repair by fixing the crack on the side of the boom that has the boss still intact. Welding over the crack wouldn't give much strength, so I cut the crack completely out and welded it up again. Once the gap was completely welded up, I gave three extra passes for strength. I was done welding the outside of the boom, so I gave it a flip and welded the inside. I've completed my repairs to the one side of the boom. It's now time to move to the other side. My first task on this side was to make a new boss. The new boss is complete. Next I made a jig for holding the boss in position when welding. I need to make sure that my jig holds the bosses with the correct spacing apart as well as in line. If you're not sure how the jig will do that, keep watching, you'll soon understand. All the machining for this repair job is complete, it's now time to attack the boom. I used the pin I made for the jig to help me mark out where I needed to cut for the new boss. Once the boom was cut for the boss to fit, I then cut out all the cracks. Here's how it looked before I started welding. I know not grinding the welding down will keep it stronger, but I was told to try hard the repair work as much as I could. I then flipped the boom and welded the inside. I'm not going to grind the welding on the inside of the boom as it's not easily visible when assembled. All the cracks are repaired, it's now time to set up my jig so I can weld the boss in position. It's quite a simple setup. The pin keeps the bosses aligned, the space in the middle keeps the correct spacing between the bosses and the bolts obviously secure everything. I'm not sure why they did it, but originally these bosses are only welded on the outside of the boom. But I'm going to be welding my boss on the inside as well as I want my repair to be as strong as possible. And that's that, all my welding for the repair job is complete. I just need to remove my jig and fit new brass bushes into the bosses. I wasn't asked to make a new pin, but personally I don't think the old one was bad. Thanks for watching.